have made it to the last video. Let's review what we've learned so far, and then I'm going to share with you three ways that you can get help if you need it during the research process. When we started this tutorial, we started off talking about the different types of peer-reviewed articles that you're going to encounter in your research. We talked about empirical studies, meta-analyses, and review papers, and how, for the purposes of your research, generally speaking, you want to be focusing on empirical studies. The next thing that we did was we went ahead and we looked at the different sections of an empirical study. So the kinds of sections that you might see when you come across these papers online. For example, you're going to always see an introduction. You're going to see some sections at the beginning that are kind of like a literature review um, state of practice in the field right now, existing knowledge on the topic. You're going to see a methods section. Then you're going to see the results of the study and some discussion, possibly also a conclusion. And a paper will always end with the references section. So we talked about the sections of the empirical study. Looking at any PDF of a journal article, if it has these sections, it's very likely that you're looking at an empirical study. Although we also talked about other ways for you to tell by using the tools in PsycInfo. Then we talked about the difference between traditional and open access journals. So we talked about how traditional publishing is often done by big companies like Wiley, Sage, Elsevier, EBSCO, sometimes universities, and how there's a movement right now for a little bit more of open sharing on the internet, and how journals from both types of publication models can be useful in your research, especially as you become more advanced. Because we are looking at different kinds of articles now and not just ones that are published by traditional sources, we talked about how to evaluate the credibility of a source. We talked a little bit about how the author should have credentials of some kind and probably work at a university or other kind of research institution. And we talked about some of the pitfalls um, or ways that you can tell if, if publishers, are, especially open access publishers, aren't very good. Then we talked about how to use a Google Scholar as another way to be a little bit more advanced as a researcher and see what else is out there besides what's in PsycInfo. Uh, we covered how to do citation linking, so both how to use Google Scholar to see um, with there's, when there's a paper that you found, who else has cited it, so you can sort of link out from that paper. And then we zoomed in on the reference list from another paper and talked about how you can use the references in that list as further resources, and also how to go through the reference list and determine what all the different parts of it are. Finally, once we did that, we talked about how to actually do references of your own in APA style. We used the website um, APA Online Writing Lab, and we talked about how to use the examples on that website to piece together your reference list, kind of like a puzzle. Once you start working on your project, you may need or want help. And as librarians at CAPU, it is our job to help you. Here are three different ways that you can get help from us. The first is by email. You can send us an email anytime at library at and a librarian will get back to you within one business day. The second way to get help is in person at our research help desk, which is at the main desk in the library. Our hours vary throughout the year, so check our website for what they currently are. And the third way to get help is via an online chat system called AskAway. This is a system that's staffed not only by librarians at CAPU, but by other librarians across the province. You can find the chat widget on our website by going to the Ask Us section. I hope that you have learned something new in this workshop and that you feel confident expanding into new territory as a more experienced researcher. Before we end, please take three minutes to fill out the survey and let us know what you thought of this workshop. I hope to see you around campus and remember that the library is always here to help. <music>